Welcome to RGPV eLibrary tutorial. In this short tutorial, we will see the rich collection on RGPV eLibrary and how you can take full benefit of the platform. To use RGPV eLibrary, please visit rgpv.refree.com. Please make sure you don't use www in the URL. rgpv.refree.com is good enough. In order to access content and various services on RGPV eLibrary, a login is mandatory. You also need to log in to save content for future reference, to set up POC alerts, or to place item requests. In general, also, we recommend you to log in because logged in activity helps us understand your reading behavior, your reading interests much better. In case you do not have your login details, please send your full name, your enrollment number or your employee ID, your college name, which must be affiliated to RGPV University, the city, email address and the mobile number. Full name and email address are must. And send these details to support at referee.com and we will get back to you with your login details within 24 hours. Now let's just look at the platform. Like I said, in order to access, please visit rgpv.referee.com as you can see in the address bar. You need to log in with the given credentials. In case you do not have your login credentials, please send the required details to support at referee.com or you can also send them to the library administrator which is library at rgtu.net. Once you are logged in you have full access to the content and services. You can browse content by discipline as you can see here all the departments and subjects are listed. You can also browse content by publisher all the content subscribed from various publishers are listed here. You can also browse by format or by collection. I have clicked on one publisher, Copy Kitab, to list its titles. There are 85 books published or, or subscribed through this platform. I click on one of them. And that's all I need to do. Whatever content I wish to read, I just need to click on the read button. The platform will perform the automatic authentication on the publisher platform and you will have full text access to the content. Let's just do this once more for a journal publisher this time for our PhD scholars for our MTech students. So I've clicked on Taylor and Francis journals. I get the listing of all the journals subscribed via Taylor and Francis. More than thousand journals. I click on the read button on the journal I wish to read. As you can see here at the top, it says access provided by RGPV, which means that the automatic authentication has been done on the publisher platform by the RGPV eLibrary. I can read any issue I want to read. I can click on any article. I'll just click on one of the research articles to show you the full text experience. As you can see, I have full text access to this research article. I can also download the PDF if available for offline reading. Most of the ebook publishers and uh, e journal articles are available in PDF format which you can read offline. However, there are a couple of publishers for which offline reading requires one special reader. I'll explain that using Wiley India ebooks which is a textbook publisher. I click on Wiley India. I get the listing of books subscribed via Wiley India. I click on one of the books. As you can see here I get two options one to read online and one to read offline. If I click on the read online button, I can see this view PDF button. If I click here, 
I can the book will load and I can read it online. There's no problem with that. So it's really easy, it's really simple. I can read this book online. However, if I wish to read the offline version, if I want to download the PDF, please note that I'll have to do an installation of a reader called iPublish Central Reader. This reader is available for PC, for desktop, for uh, for your Mac OS, even for your mobile phones. You need to do this installation only once and then you can download the offline version and read it there. This special provision is required for three publishers, Magro Hill, New Age and Wiley India. If you want to see all the textbooks, just click on this textbook button and you will have 223 textbooks subscribed by RGTV for all its affiliated colleges and the university campus. You can filter these textbooks with the department name uh, as you can see here, all the departments are listed. We also have a new section called Virtual Lab Experiments available on the platform. These experiments, 137 experiments are available to you for use. Uh, we have also done a department-wise uh, categorization of these virtual labs. Each lab has numerous experiments that you can learn. I'll click on one of them to give you an experience. I've entered the IIT Rurki Digital Electronics Lab and I can see here all the list of experiments that I can learn and I can practice. I click on one of these experiments. I read the aim of this experiment. I'll go through the theory of this experiment. This explains the half gate I can also do the pretest. I'll read the procedure on how to run the simulation. And each experiment has a simulation which I can run and practice the theory of. Engineering and technology requires practical knowledge, so you can run these simulations even sitting at home and learn about you know the theory behind these experiments. Many experiments have more than one simulations also. I've just performed a single simulation to give you an example on how to how you can learn about half adder on kit in this virtual experiment. Now let's just look at the entire list of labs here. So there are 137 labs and together you can learn more than 1000 experiments from these 137 labs. You can also filter these labs with the use of department filter and just look at the labs which are relevant to your branch, to your stream of engineering. The RGPV e-library has a massive collection of open access resources. More than 5,93,000 open access resources are available on the platform, featuring theses, video lectures, ebooks, journals and the virtual lab experiments are just explained. There are some topic collections also which we have recently added on the platform. So if you want to learn about digital marketing, you don't need to perform any search. You can just go into this section and have a deep dive on the thesis, journal articles and video lectures. I click on the video lectures to give you so there are 10 video lectures on how to get about digital marketing. So in case of video lectures, we have more than 83,000 video lectures available on the platform. And these are coming from popular uh, channels like NPT, EL, UGC, CEC, Stanford University. Some of the leading foreign universities are featured on the platform. And all of these video lectures, you can just click on the watch button and you can uh, view them. Apart from uh, class lectures, we also have a section on expert talks. These are coming from channels like TED, Big Thing. There is a very lit rich collection of literature in Hindi, English, Urdu. More than 2000 titles are here and you can filter these uh, ebooks 
by the name of the publisher or by year of or the author or the year of publication we also have a very good section on rgpv previous year question papers these will be very helpful in in uh, in preparing for your exams you can filter these question papers by uh, department or by year these will be really helpful in preparing for exams. We also have a news section on the platform. And as you can see, um, news publications, there are more than 50 publications from where we are getting daily headlines that you can um, keep up with. Let's just perform a search. I've just showed you the browsing experience so far. So I'll do a keyword search to show you how search works on rgpv library i have searched for nanotechnology i have got 111 results out of which eight are subscribed resources and 103 are uh, open access resources i can also filter by the type of media if i am only interested in ebooks i can do that filter i'll do one more search on um, this time let's say electronic devices etc so if i do this search I get 73 results. I can only filter by subscribe. So I get only the subscribed textbooks on electronic devices and circuits. This way I can look for content using the keyword search. For advanced who want to read research articles, they just need to switch over the tab from e-catalog to article and they can find research articles from different publishers on the RGPV eLibrary itself. So you don't need to go on multiple platforms. There's an add to reading list button here on each search result, and you can save any search result for future reference into a reading list. You can create multiple folders and keep on saving articles or ebooks or lectures into your reading list. Reading list is available on the click of your name. As you can see, I just saved. An article from ACS Publications and it's available in my reading list. There are many more features on RGPV eLibrary. This was a very short tutorial to give you an idea on the content uh, and the richness of services. For a detailed demo, we are leaving a link to the game. A detailed demonstration of the RGPV eLibrary. We hope you take full benefit of the platform and for any suggestion or any feedback, please do write to support at the Happy reading.